On today's video, we're making catfish. And we're not only making the best catfish, we're making the crispiest catfish alive. If you've never tried wing dust on any kind of fried fish, you're missing out. It's phenomenal. It actually started a little brawl between us, which one's the best. I will tell you right now, Nashville Hot is my absolute favorite. It's got to be better than lemon pepper on fish, but hey, what do I know? You know, I'm just cooking. So, this is a three dredge batter. A wet, or dry, so I got one cup of flour in this one. A wet, which is two cups of flour, six, about six ounces of club soda, two eggs, and we got two cups of flour in this one, and we're gonna season it with some SPG, and we're gonna use a heaping quarter cup. And yeah, you can use the cap, that's about a quarter cup. It's actually almost dead on that quarter cup, so hey, you learn that here first. We'll get this little dude mixed up. Now, Mix up the wet. Now these are 10 ounce little uh, jars here, little bottles. I'm gonna dump in about half, mix it up and just kinda go from there. Yeah, we're gonna use the whole thing. We may even have to get more. <laughs> this stuff set up like a brick. Ah, there we go. There we go. She's coming around. It's a great thing to come in six packs. So we got 10 in. Let's see where we're at now. That was about another four. Ah, right, here we go. We will have the exact amounts down in the recipe, so fear not. So, super easy. These are some little fat fillets right here. Just completed a successful hunt at the local grocery store. These are gonna be the crispiest friggin' fish fillets you've ever seen in your life. Get off there. Get off there, Linda. Make sure to push that flour, that seasoned flour, down in there. Get it nice and good. And always lay away from you. Get off. Next one. Then you get left with this. I'm gonna give you the money shot, dude. Alright. It's what these dudes look like. Now we've cooked them. These are right at about five minutes. But depending on your area, your altitude, it's gonna be a little bit different. Three to six minutes. But as soon as they come out, you want to get them seasoned up. Nashville hot. This is going to be the winner, I already know. But, you know, that's just me. Lemon pepper. Oh, well, they got a little bit. Ah! Got burnt. This is going to be the crispiest catfish you've ever had in your life. Period, end of story. 
Oh, that feel good. All right, let's get these other ones going. All right, so we're gonna season this one up with the kicking Cajun. Yeah, flip that dude over. Ah, get off there. And last but not least, salt and vinegar. I think this is actually probably a good call. Salt and vinegar on a piece of fish. I mean, come on. Uh, I ain't gonna lie to you. I was gonna take a bite of mine first, but I'm gonna take a bite of this salt and vinegar because it just smells wonderful and it's probably hotter than heck and it's gonna burn my mouth. But look at that. That's real good. That crunch, hands down. But come on now, Nashville hot. This is what it's about. Yeah. This is phenomenal. Next is lemon pepper. Who chose this? Wes. This was you? I put it good. I think salt and vinegar is probably the best one so far. But we got kicking Cajun. Ooh, look at that little fat piece. Little fat tail. That one's good. That one's real good. They're all phenomenal. I ain't gonna lie. My least favorite is probably the lemon pepper, only because I like it on pizza. Hey, I want to thank everybody for watching. Don't forget, this recipe is down in the description or you can head on over to CosmosQ.com, get on the recipe site, print it out, make it for your own family, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace. That was hot. Salt and vinegar, salt and vinegar is good. It'd be one, two, three, four. Everybody knows that lemon pepper belongs on pizza.